Hello. I have figured out how to stream today. What are these little doodads rolling around in my jar? <laughs> Some sort of holiday thing. So, ohayou minasan. Uh, ima uh, nihongo benkyo. Uh, nari I don't know. Anyway, let's just get into doing some Native Shark. Very excited. This is probably going to be a lot more typical of uh, study sessions with it. So much pain. No! I'm sorry, Jay-Z. Hopefully, doing some Japanese fun times can uh, take your mind off of it. I don't know. <sighs> Let us take a looky look. So today we're on unit 27. Um, what, 16% through phase one. Mauve sack, coffee addict. Hi, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I'm just casually doing some Japanese. Yay, malt hot chocolate, sounds delicious. All right, let's turn off the music so we can focus. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Get some Japanese. I'm scared because now if I do it wrong, like <laughs> you guys will all know. It's okay. I will try my best. Kore onegaishimasu. Kore onegaishimasu. Uh, I would like to have this, please. Kore onegaishimasu. Kore onegaishimasu. Kore onegaishimasu. It means, uh, could you do this for me? Like handing over a piece of clothing. Kore onegaishimasu. Could you do this for me? I forgot the do this for me part, so I'll do like a kind of no. Um, iriguchi wa doku desu ka? Iriguchi wa, iriguchi wa, uh, <laughs> iriguchi wa doku desu ka? It means where is the entrance? Iriguchi wa doku desu ka? 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 That word is <laughs> hard to pronounce. They're all hard to pronounce. Oh my god. Uh, Ohio Mimi chair. Hello. Uh, it means bright. Sun and the moon. Bright. Day. Or sun or Jap Japan. Day, sun, or Japan. Namabiru hitotsu. Namabiru hitotsu to yuzu sawa hitotsu to kore hitotsu kurasai. It means one draft beer and one yuzu sour and one of these, please. <laughs> what? Um, iri Gucci? Iri Gucci? Entrance? Namabiru hitotsu to yuzu sawa hitotsu to kore hitotsu kurasai. One draft beer and one yuzu sour and one of these, please. Oh no! Come back. Cool. Mabushi. It means it's bright. Mabushi. 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 Dazzlingly bright. Akarui means a bright room. Mabushi is dazzlingly bright. In my eyes. Akarui. Akarui. Bright. Akarui. It's Akarui. bright. Akarui. Bright. This means now. Ima doko? Where are you now? Ima doko? Ima doko? Ima doko? Ima doko? Doko? Where? Doko? 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 Atto mizu futatsu kudasai. And also two waters, please. Atto o mizu futatsu kudasai. 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 This one means entrance. 
Enter, insert. I feel like that's close enough. Maybe I'll do like a. Uh. Uh, Toriaizu, Toriaizu, nama futats kudasai. To start off with, two draft beers, please. Toriaizu, nama futats kudasai. Toriaizu, nama futats kudasai. Toriaizu, nama futats kudasai. Aoi des. It's blue. Aoi des. It's blue. Aoi des. Or green. <laughs> One of them. Uh, Arai mitsu kudasai. Three of those, please. MC 1000G. Konnichiwa. Ohayo. Konbawa. Whatever is appropriate for your time of day. Uh, Irashai mase. Means welcome. Welcome to my store. <laughs> Your exam tomorrow, which which exam? Are mitsu kudasai. Three of those, please. Are mitsu kudasai. Are mitsu kudasai. Are mitsu kudasai. Are mitsu kudasai. Uh, I don't remember what this is. Oh, is this bansoko? Bansoko maraimasu ka? Bansoko maraimasu ka? I think it means, could I have... A uh, band aid, please. Bansoko moraimasuka. Yes. Bansoko moraimasuka. Bansoko moraimasuka. Bansoko moraimasuka. Can I have a band aid, please? I got it. This means dirty. Dirty, defile. One of those. Water. This kanji means water. Water, water, water. Kitanai ne? It's dirty, isn't it? Kitanai ne. Kitanai ne. Kitanai ne. Kitanai ne. Kitanai ne. Blue or green? Bluish green, perhaps? Blue green. Blue green. Hashi. Wait, no. Makura moraimasu ka? Makura moraimasu ka? Makura moraimasu ka? Could I have a pillow, please? Makura moraimasu ka? Makura moraimasu ka? Makura moraimasu ka? Makura moraimasu ka? Can I have some pillows, please? Okairi! Uh, welcome home! Okairi! 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 I find it, so, find it strange how Japan has the same word for both blue and green. I mean, I think, what? They only, like, in the beginning, there's only, like, three colors, right? Like, the base colors are Akai, Aoi, and kuruma, kuru, kuroi, kuroi, like black, red, and blue. And that like described everything. And then they got some stuff from like Western languages like pinku and, um, and then they made a like midori for green and uh, whatever else. Kuruma, that's very silly. <laughs> It's for changing my course in college with two tests, 180 questions. Oh my god. Wait, Kuruma is car. Wait, is Kuruma, is it car and bear? Kuruma, Kuruma, Kuruma. Yeah, it's Kuruma no menkyo bara wara bara wara. I don't know. Kuma? Wait, is it Kuma? Kuru. Oh god. Oh my god. Am I? I'm going crazy. Okairi, welcome home. <laughs> Aoi ne? It's blue, isn't it? Aoi ne. It's Aoi. blue, huh? Uh, it means warrior or uh, samurai? Gentleman? Wait, not warrior. Gentleman or samurai. Kuruma, <laughs> to clear things up, Kuruma is indeed car. Yay! I love how we all know Japanese. This is like... I guess it's a tale as old as time. Artists, like, I think the mis I think the link here is uh, anime, right? Because I was inspired to learn art because of anime, and I was lear inspired to learn Japanese because of anime. And I feel like a lot of other people have that same path, and so therefore here we are, artists who want to study Japanese. Yeah, if you want to check it out, I have an affiliate link. <laughs> but yeah, I'm using Native Shark, and I'll be just going through a day of Native Shark. Um, blah, blah, blah. Aoi yo. It's blue. Boom. Aoi yo. Aoi yo. Yeah, I just started like a few weeks ago. Ii desu yo. It's good. Ii desu yo. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Ii desu yo. 
in this, like, I guess it's like, it's all good, but like, it's all good. Like, don't worry about it. I keep forgetting this. Okay. Uh, this is a moon or a month. Moon or month. Taskete kudasai. Taskete kudasai. It means help me. I'm in danger. Taskete kudasai. Taskete kudasai. Taskete kudasai. Ii desu yo. Don't worry about it. Ii desu yo. Ii desu yo. Don't worry about it. All right. So those are all my reviews. And then we are going to get into learning. So this is like a new unit with like more knowledge. How to say please call the police or an ambulance, etc. Noun, yonde kudasai, means please call noun. It's a rather direct way to ask someone to call something or someone. For example, it can be used when asking a person to call the police or an ambulance. <gasps> Cinder, hi, konnichiwa. Thank you, arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> Cinder-san, Sh Shinda-san. Even the voice sounded scared, I know. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> They try hard with these. If you're in Japan and there's an emergency with nobody around to call for you, the number for the police is 110. The number for fire, ambulance, and emergency rescue is 119. You can call and say what language you speak, and there may be a translator. You need to hit the red button before dialing the number you need. Uh, in, the emergency, in an emergency, you can say, Taskete kudasai. Taskete kudasai. Taskete kudasai. We're getting a little more specific here, but the same verb, te kudasai, pattern can be used when asking someone to call an ambulance, police, etc. In such a case, we need to use the word yobu, which means something like to call. Specifically, we need to use the te form of the verb, which is yonde, before adding kudasai, please, to the end. All right. Yay, conjugation, later. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't gotten to conjugation yet, but I guess like learning everything about how to do stuff just slows you down when, you know, you don't even know what to say. Uh, noun, yonde kodasai. Please call noun is a rather direct way to ask someone to call something or someone. Now we need to pick some words for noun. Say you want to ask someone to call an ambulance. The word for ambulance is kyu-kyu-sha. Kyu-kyu-sha? That's like a long word. Kyukyusha. Kyukyusha, yonde kudasai. Kyukyusha, yonde kudasai. Say you want to ask someone to call an ambulance. Uh, you and your friend are sightseeing in Kyoto and you're exploring the city by bicycle. After seeing your 37th temple that day, you're feeling pretty exhausted, but your friend still has tons of energy. Check out this sick move, he says, and does a handstand on the handlebars of his moving bicycle. You start by watching in awe, then in horror as he crashes in a glorious fashion. His life doesn't seem to be in danger from the fall, but it seems he may have broken his arm and he's writhing in pain. You're a positive panther, so you think on the bright side. What's more remarkable than a hospital visit abroad? <laughs> the mood. To get to the hospital, however, you're going to need to call an ambulance. You find the nearest per Japanese person and say, Kyu kyu sha, yonde kudasai. Kyu kyu sha, yonde kudasai. <laughs> Why are they writing about me? <laughs> no. Do you think the word kyukyusha is hard to say? For maximum laziness, just say kyukyusha and say the cues slower than the sha. <laughs> or copy our native speakers' voices. Yeah, that'd be best. Kanji lovers might find it interesting, by the way, that an ambulance in Japanese is save. Sudden slash urgent vehicle, uh, vehicle medical emergency. Just call the urgent saver vehicle. Come on now, come on. How could you not love learning kanji when Japanese gives us words like this? You're gonna have the most awesome time while traveling in Japan. So the following would surely never happen to you. But in an alternate universe, one of your alternate selves has been the victim of a crime in Japan. Maybe alt you had your alt wallet stolen, or perhaps alt you shudder to think it was physically assaulted somehow. In any case, all you need to get the Japanese police involved. The Japanese word for police is kesatsu, which I know from watching Death Note. Desu no to. Plugging this word into the pattern above, all you knows to say, kesatsu yonde kudasai. Kesatsu yonde kudasai. Kesatsu yonde kudasai. Kesatsu yonde kudasai. 
Perhaps you don't even like to consider the possibility that you would need to use the phrases mentioned in this lesson. That does not necessarily mean that the word verb yobu won't come in handy for you. Mm, I'm sorry, Jay-Z. In another Jap phase one lesson, we explained that you can catch a taxi by hailing one on the side of the street, finding a taxi stand, or using an app. Here's another way to catch a taxi. Though, have someone call you one. A guidebook has convinced you that you absolutely must visit a highly re rated restaurant tucked away in a back alley, a back alley that you are quite certain you'll never be able to find. As much as you love wandering the street while staring down at Google Maps, it's been a long day, and you just want to take a cab. You go to the front desk of your hotel and say, Taxi yonde moraimasu ka? 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 Wondering why we use moraimasu ka and not kudasai in this example? It's because verb te kudasai is a bit too direct here. The restaurant turns out to be worth the extra effort it took to get there, and you spend the whole evening without calling an ambulance or the police even once. All right, and then that's one day of studying. Wait, no, I haven't finished yet. Fuck, I forgot. I need to, still need to learn kanji and vocabulary. Kanji flashcards have example words and sentences, but you're not supposed to memorize them. Examples are only provided to help you get a firmer feel for what the kanji really means. They're intentionally hidden by default. You should only be aiming to memorize the words you see in your lesson in vocab flashcards. We'll get to the other words when it's a good time to learn them. Fire, fire. Tree. Woman, female. No, I skipped it. Fuck. Uh, child. Complete. Okay, that one's complete. This one's child. Yeah, my mouse double clicks, which is like annoying. Woman, female. Child. Um, complete. What do I do if I had a death note? Oh my god. Nothing. Burn it. I feel like that's like some dark shit. Fire. Tree. Yay, I've acquired new knowledge. We love new knowledge in this house. Itsu. I don't know what that means. Itsu. 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 When? Itsu yaru. Itsu yaru. Itsu yaru. Itsu yaru. Yaru means to do. Itsu yaru. When? When should we do it? Kyo yaru. Let's do it today. Kyo yaru. Oh, I'm gonna do it today. I am going to do it today. Kyo yaru. Ashita yaru. Tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Ashita yaru. Ashita yaru. Ashita yaru. Ashita yaru. Asatte yaru. The day after tomorrow? Asatte yaru. Okay. Asatte yaru. I'll do it the day after tomorrow. Asatte yaru. Um, shi asatte yaru. Shi asatte yaru. I'll do it the day after the day after tomorrow. In three days time. Okay. Ashi as... Ashi asatte yaru. There's like a lot of words. Ashi asatte yaru. Ashi asatte yaru. Ah, uh, mosugu yaru. I'll do it soon. Mosugu yaru. Do it mosugu soon. Yaru. I I learned mosugu from an anime as well. Mosugu yaru. I'll do it soon. Okay. Ah. Asatte yaru. Asatte yaru. Asatte yaru. Asatte yaru. Um, kyo, kyo yaru. Kyo yaru. Kyo yaru. Okay, kyo great. Yaru. Kyo yaru. Kyo yaru. Itsu. When? Itsu. Itsu. When? Itsu yaru. When will you do it? Itsu yaru. When should we do it? I don't think itsu. the pronoun matters, right? Itsu yaru. When do it? Um. Ashita yaru. I'll do it tomorrow. Ashita yaru. Ashita yaru. Ashita yaru. Ashita yaru. Ashita yaru. 
しあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるもうすぐやるすぐやるもうすぐやるもうすぐやるもうすぐやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるしあさってやるし I don't know these words. It's okay though. Okay, let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna close my eyes. What I do for these is I just close my eyes and see if I can tell what it means. What do you Pizza? Oh, what would you like to eat? Pizza. It's good, isn't it? Uh, what do you want to eat? How about pizza? I feel like I did close enough. Close enough. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end. That's one day of learning with Native Shark. The, cur- the streak thing doesn't work right now because there's like a bug in it, but they're working on fixing it because streaks are important. And I'm almost done with. I'm almost at milestone two, which is exciting. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm like 17% of the, way, percent of the way through phase one, and they say that I should be able to go through like native content、um, at the end of phase one and like more and like really be able to get into it like halfway through phase two. I don't know. I don't know if I like, I don't endorse it or anything. It's just what I use. But if you are interested in signing up, I would highly recommend using my affiliate link because it would help me out and that would be much appreciated. That's unfortunate, Jay Z. I don't know. Would you like to, I don't know, drink water? Be sure to drink water. Water, good. Omizu wa nomu nomite. Oh, yeah, also, there's like a seven day free trial. So. And it requires no payment method. Unlike scummy free trials out there.Weird. My panels just look really gross. I don't like the way that they make you edit the panels because you can't see where it's gonna go on the website.、Ugh. It's just not fun. Anyway, oh yeah, if anyone hasn't heard, I just、uh, recently passed my actuarial exam. Like the one that I was studying for last year, like literally months ago. I took it on October 23rd, and the results finally came out yesterday.、Uh, and I passed, so I'm gonna get that、uh, raise, which is apparently retroactive. So I'm gonna get the money that I would have gotten if I got the raise on the day that I took the exam, which is awesome. And I'm gonna get a bonus. And I get to study for my next exam. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so stay on the lookout for that. I'm gonna start, you know, doing study streams again,、uh, straight chilling, learning, or et cetera. I, I'm having like, I don't, I don't even know. I'm having the big struggle right now because, like, I don't know what to paint next for my next evolve thing. I've just been, I've spent days just like looking around trying to find something to paint. And I look at everyone else's paintings and they look so beautiful, and I feel like mine are legit trash. And it makes me feel really bad.、Um, like, let me show you all. Can I? 
Okay, there. So if we go back to, let's go back to part, um, how's the actuary exam? Well, it's over. <laughs> so this is my first painting for exercise 11, the first painting of the block two. But like, look at everyone else's. Like they're more complex and like so much better than mine. I don't know, and I just feel like I'm just really behind compared to everyone else. Like literally, I did a fucking bowl in a cup and it looks like trash. But what, what, what? I don't know, it just gets worse the further I go. Cause like, I feel like this is such a simple setup compared to, like, literally, what is this? Like, literally, I don't know. I'm just like feeling really down. <laughs> I don't know how, what to say. Like, I just feel really down. <laughs> it's not that I like, <sighs> I don't know. I just feel like weird. Eat a Baez. Dame. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. But like, part of my struggle right now is trying to figure out what to paint next. Because like, I'm having such a hard time judging where my skill level is at. And I feel like everything that I own is like too hard or too easy. Oh, what is up? Mm. Okay, so I was thinking I could paint this. Let's get closer but I'm afraid that it's like too complicated. And if I fail, then I'll like miss like an important opportunity to improve. Oh fuck, it's coming apart. This is supposed to be a puzzle. And if it came apart, I wouldn't know how to put it back together. <laughs> oh my God, let's just, does it go this way? No, it goes this way. Oh God, oh God. Oh no, I'm having the real struggle right now. Oh my God. Y'all are so sweet, full of the good ideas. I like it. God. Okay, I don't know if this even fits together. Yeah, maybe I'll, give me a sec, I gotta rearrange. Jay-Z! Yeah, I don't know. Part of me just feels like, like I'll be a disappointment to, I don't know, my YouTube series because I can't figure out how to paint properly. And I'm sad. <laughs> All right, let's switch over there. Move monitor. This whole setup is like whack.
fucking audience. <laughs> Yeah, see, look at this. I thought it would be fun to paint like this little molecule thing, but then I realized that it's like really shiny and the highlights look like super hard <laughs> to like actually render properly. So yeah, and see, look, I have like all these objects here and I've been trying to figure out whether I can paint it or not. My life is a mess. I just have a pile of random stuff. And plus, I already ordered the next box. Like, remember how I got one supply box at the beginning with all my black and white paints? Um, I get another box after block two. So then we can start in on color. And it has, like, all the colored paints and stuff. And I don't want to be, like, sad and have that sitting a little light. Yeah, 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 it's a, what, a shadow box, I think he said, um, to control the lighting and stuff. Now that I think about it, I feel like something like this could be used for product photography, which sounds like fun. All right, I'm gonna try my best. You think painting with colors will be more hard? Yes, absolutely. It's hard enough with, like, only four choices, right? I only have four choices. It can be like extreme shadow, moderate shadow, moderate light, or extreme light. And then expanding that to like every color possible sounds whack. Myth, that is how a lot of product photography is done. <laughs> oh my God. There we go. Now you just get to see my face. I tried doing the box thing, but it was so boring. I don't see progress while I was following it. Yeah, same. <laughs> if four was difficult, then what on earth was I thinking trying to do more? What? What is that a reference to? Okay, I'm pretty sure this plane is like way too complicated for me. <laughs> this was a mistake. Oh yeah, also I ordered like delivery hot pot and I am so excited tonight. Holy shit, like.
veggies in a bag and then hot water. Oh my god. ZM Art, hi, welcome. How are you? All right, there's my plane. You know, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Gotta go, don't pressure yourself too much. Oh, thank you. Since your title says you're studying Japanese, watashi wa genki desu. Oh, uh, yata. <laughs> I don't know what to say, actually. Watashi mo genki desu yo. <laughs> um, aha, Nihongo wa imoshiroi desu ka ne? You know what? It didn't actually turn out that bad. I think nabe wa gurosu desu. Oh my god, you should keep, watch Keep Your Hands Off Ezoken. It's an anime about animations. Amazing. Nabe. Nabe. Hatapata, yes. Shabu Shabu. Nande, uh, shabu shabu desu ka? Uh, shabu shabu you desu ka? Na? Yes. Uh, sorry. I literally don't know Japanese. I just try to like throw some stuff. You know what? My little plane drawing actually turned out kind of cute. Maybe I should try and paint this. I feel like it turned out not that bad after all. But I put hot pot is gross into google translate baez uh baka desu ne <laughs> well uh zm art irashaimase yoroshiku onegaishimasu Nabe ga umai desu. Umai? Gurosu janai. Oh, gross. Gurosu. That's funny. I see. Naruhodo, naruhodo ne. Um, uh, watashi wa shabu shabu to nabe ga daisuki desu. Okay. Well, if I'm going to be painting this, it's going to require a lot of uh, sighting. So, uh, God, I'm just like exhausted thinking about this, but here I go. I am ready. I am ready. So, what should I use as like my unit measure? I don't know. You know what? Maybe this right here, this height. There we go. Echi. <laughs> Perverted man. Yeah, echi means pervert, right? And then that is the man kanji. Kakitai. I. Oh. Otoko? Oh, uh, echi otoko ka kakitai. Otoko? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know we had so many Japanese studiers here. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This is my army of weebs. Hello.
Edgy H, H as in hentai. Yeah, what does edgy mean? I know hentai, that means like perverted, right? It's like an E adjective. I think. Oh, that is the real derivation. Huh. Interesting. All right, I'll try my best. I feel like this is gonna end horribly, but I'm just gonna go for it because my heart needs me to take this leap. So this is one. Hen in hentai means strange. Oh, yes, that's right, hen. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so this length is gonna be our one. And um, I don't know, I guess I'll go from wingtip to wingtip. That seems like a good measurement to take. It seems like two, maybe? And then the height of the wings is another measurement I should be taking. Looks like 0.7. What does that say? Sekun sekshi. Oh, sekshi otoko kakitai. What does kakitai mean? Is that what you're trying to say? Sekshi? Sekshi. <laughs> sekshi otoko kakitai. Lamau. I want to draw a sexy man. <laughs> I'm gonna draw sexy men. Oh, I see. Uh, mo. <laughs> Kaku to draw. Oh, hi, hi. Uh, wakarimasu. Uh, arigatou gozaimasu. Okay, well this shape is wrong here. It should go up like this, and then go down like this. There we go. So how long is it from here to here, A? Eh? Looks like it could be 0.6 maybe? And then the height of this little wing fin thingy. Looks like it could be 0.5. And then we take a width here, which is, it looks like it could be 0.9. Yeah, I'm not even sure what I'm doing. I'm just like, <sighs> okay, that looks good enough. And then I guess I should take the this wheel height. The wheel height and width seem like important measurements. So I predict about 0.4 for the width, 0.5 for the height. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to do my best to compare it visually. And then I'm going to come in with the needle and be more exact. And then the idea is that every time I come back and do this again and again, and then I correct myself with the needle, then eventually I can just look at this and uh, all the measurements from my eyes will be accurate. And I don't have to come through and correct them at all. That's the idea. Uh, this looks like it could be 0.9. Take this inner measurement here because I feel like this is important. Um, looks like it could be 
Now mostly like what I want most is to be able to tell whether something's longer or shorter than something else. And then let's take this measurement down the side here. 0.7 perhaps? And then I should take the measurement from the end here up to this part of the plane. This one seems like a very important measurement here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Just eyeballing it, I'm guessing 2.5, but I'm sure like a lot of these will be super off. The only thing I need to do is, the only thing I need is to improve. Okay, I'm not sure how many other measurements I can take without cluttering this up too much. So I will now be siding with my needle. And we use like a needle because it is like small and precise and it doesn't cover up too much of the actual object or something like that. That's the uh, thought process behind it. Let's go. This looks like 0.5. So I'm just gonna write 0.5 next to this measurement and then circle it. So then I can preserve what I thought it was and what it really is. Looks like 0.6 to me. Okay. I'm excited. I hope this turns out well. Otherwise, I will be I'll be a little bit sad, not going to lie. <laughs> I might have to multiply all the measurements because um like if I leave it as it is, I think it'll be really short on the page, but I'll have to see. This looks like 0.6 vertically here. I feel like I should take this measurement as well. 1.3 perhaps? I don't know, I just like, like on my last painting, I made like this grave error with like the, the thing. 
Oh, I have a Nihongo message. Mitsan wa donna hito kaki tai desu ka? Oh, um, are you saying, uh, don, what type of person do you want to draw? Yes, yes, yes. What kind of person do you want to draw? Or who do you want to draw? Or is, is it type or is it who? I want to draw more sexy 2Bs. <laughs> Yep. Boku mo. Hi, hi. Sexy, se wait, sex, sexy to be this. Point eight here. In the end, I've just come back to drawing airplanes. Damn it, Scott Robertson, you sly fox. Point five across the wings. <sighs> Drawing something off axis like this is like really messing with me. Like the foreshortening is real, y'all, and it is hard. One point one across the bottom of this little fin thingy. Point one from the bottom here up until 
the top of this tip, tippity toppity. Yeah, I don't know. I've never heard of like a method like this before. I know that people draw like plumb lines and also like take a unit measurement or whatever, but not like putting everything into squares. That's like interesting. Point eight across this back fin. It's one serious art set of super cool. Thank you. Yeah. This uh setup is so big, it's taking up half my room, and the other half is taken up by uh let me show you guys around for a sec. There's the cat carriers, cause like, I don't know, where else do you put them, you know? And then there's my Aero Garden Farm 24XL, which holds, uh, um, what, 24 different seed pods. Uh, I won't have my microphone over there, but I'm just gonna bring the camera. have uh, some lettuce going and on the right hand side there's like some tomatoes but they take a while to grow up and fruit but yeah my room has gotten so cramped because I just have so much stuff I love <laughs> like my easel is enormous and then I have this whole light box and whatever else One point five. All right, I think that's it actually. So I'm like a little bit scared 
Do you think I should draw it like on a scratch piece of paper first and then put it on the real paper? Yeah, cause like I only have exactly the amount of canvases <laughs> that I need. I'd rather not mess up a canvas. So let's just take our, our little scratch piece of paper and draw out this whole diddly dang. Zephyr Dawn, welcome to the mythology where talent is a myth. It, it's a dab. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, let's take a measurement of how wide the entire thing is so I know how to fit it onto the paper. wide, I think. I'm gonna take it again just because I feel like it's an important measurement and I don't want to fuck it up. right around three. Okay, that's cool. And then an entire height measurement would be helpful as well. So let's just, oh my God. This thing is like covered. I'm gonna bring it a little closer so you guys can see. This is what it looks like. One point six, perhaps. Wow, it's like not very high at all. So this part. One point nine? Really? Hmm.
All right. So we have three across, 1.9 up. What would that look like on a page? Well, good thing I have my little handy dandy ruler thingy. One, two, three. So that would be this far across the page. I don't really think that's enough. Oh God, but I don't think I can double it either. So I guess I have to like multiply by 1.5 times or something, which is gonna be such a pain. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. So we gotta get out the handy dandy calculator. Let's go grab that. Oh, fucking hell. get out Get cracking. So we have um, our guide, and I'm gonna scale it up by one and a half times, and I'm gonna draw it again, and then I'm gonna transfer it over to the canvas because um, I really don't want to mess it up because it's really hard to erase stuff off of the canvas, and it's easy to uh, like harm the paper and stuff, and I just don't want to deal with all of that. Four point five. It's the width of the entire plane, and then we're gonna go one point nine up to find the height. Wait, no, fuck! I've already messed it up. One point nine times one point five is two point eight five. Oh god, everything's about to get way too complicated. It's one two point eight five. Two point eight five. Okay, Oh my god, it's so messy already. That's so stressful. For some reason, I always start way too high. At least it fit on the paper this time. Okay, there we go. We got our sides of 2.85. 2.85, great. We did it. So I guess I'll just build it from the outside in and I'll see how that works. So I know that this bottom part, so I need to multiply 1.1 times 1.5, which is 1.65. 1.65. 1 
When I first started, I tried to do all these calculations in my head. I don't know why I ever subjected myself to that. <laughs> 1.5. I feel like my thought process was, I mean, I don't know. I'm a math person. I should do math. Nah. Okay. It's not worth it. <laughs> okay. This is 1.5 by 1.65. All right, we're making good progress, I think. Does it look like a plane yet? <laughs> um, there's a thing of 0.8 in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Point eight, perhaps. Where did my Pokemon go? Did it come back? I have to adjust this measurement because it doesn't match anymore. 1.8. So what is 1.8 times 1.5? It's 2.7. It's back! Yay! We love Pokemon in this household. gonna connect this line to the other lines but we'll, we'll we're just gonna have to see okay we're just gonna have to figure this out god I'm having such a hard time with this but we'll get there we'll get there I swear I swear we will get there It's 1.5. From here to here. Now that is a useful measurement. Let's use it.
1.3. I'm going nuts, y'all. Let's try this again. Oh. What fell? No, my calculator, it's all the way across the floor. That's not good. I've lost my needle somehow. How will I measure now? Literally, how did this even happen? I guess I'll just have to use my paintbrush or something. God damn it. Everything is going wrong. You know, actually this one has like a pretty thin Handle, it should be fine. Okay, I think it is 1.2. Okay, so now I have to find 1.2 times 1.5, which is 1.8. Okay, there we go. There we go. Not too bad. We are ticking right along, having so much fun. Okay.
Okay, 3.75. Then we go down 1.8, or 0.8 times 1.5 is 1.2. Not too bad, I, if I could say so myself. One point four, it seems. One point four indeed. All right, let's add that to the drawing. One point four times one point five is two point one. One point two. Okay, let's 
this line. I feel like it's getting there. I mean, this is like taking a million years, but it's complicated and weird, but I don't think it's necessarily hard. It's just time consuming, which I feel like it's better than like being hard. Two point two five. I feel like this one point five times one point five thing comes up way too often. Okay, two point two five. One two two point two five. Here we are. So what are y'all up to? I always wonder what people do during my streams. Oh my god, it's like, it snowed these enormous snowflakes earlier today. The weather has just been whack, y'all. Listening to old 90s Korean music, doing some figure drawing. Sounds like my kind of afternoon. Yeah, it sounds like fun. I wish I could do more art. Like, the, the weekends are pretty much the only times I do art now because I have like this whole new morning routine, which is wake up, work out, Japanese, and then work, lunch, work, and then cook dinner, uh, relax for two hours, uh, work on something, which is usually like a video or voiceover work. I've been having a lot of voiceover work lately. And then, Go to bed. Have to constantly figure out how to draw sexy people and study anatomy. That sounds like fun. Sounds like a good time. I've been doing voiceover work since before I started doing art. I don't know, two or three years, maybe? For some reason, there's like a lot of work right now, which is great, but it also takes up a lot of my time. I guess it's like the new January budgets, eh? some of this stuff.
Hmm. This is very hard. Yeah, maybe I need to take more measurements. I feel like I'm kind of floating a bit as I'm drawing. This isn't an orthographic drawing. This is just a drawing from observation. It's supposed to be like, true to life, not like equidistant or anything like that. The technique just involves uh, taking measurements and putting them into squares. doodles this is totally drew this out to the wrong line god damn it
I think this is a bit closer. Oh my gosh, this is like getting so complicated. together though. Legit. Thank you. I appreciate that. five across from here. Then we go down 0 0.6 times 1.5.
You know what? I think it's kind of turning out. I'm just saying, it's it's kind of looking up, y'all. The uh the wings look really weird though. Something is up with them. Uh, I think they might be a little too thick, but... All right, I think that is our plane. Now I just have to do it all over again <laughs> and get it onto the canvas. I think that is it for today. Thank you all for joining me on my sad adventure trying to figure out whether or not I can be a real painter. <laughs> I had fun trying my best with this and I'm looking forward to doing this painting. This seems like a really fun thing to draw. <sighs> okay, yep. Uh, unfortunately, I can't look at the camera and myself at the same time in this angle, but thank you guys for joining me. Nihongo benkyo, studying Japanese. Nihongo benkyo wa tanoshi desu. Studying Japanese was really fun and I'm hoping to do it at the beginning of all these streams, because why not? Uh, doing stuff with folks is fun. And I, next week, I'm going to plan out my study schedule for my exam. And so I'll be back with study streams probably two or three days a week in the beginning and then like every day <laughs> as the exam gets closer. Awesome. Yeah, so have a good evening, day, night, everybody. And I hope all goes well with you guys. Good luck with your art, your sexy ladies, your sexy men, <laughs> and your anatomy. Jane, matane. Uh, see you guys next week or sooner. Uh, now I have to figure out how to turn this off because the mouse is far away. Matane.